Okay guys, we are in Okeechobee, Florida, and we are going to make a right onto Route 441, which is the main highway that goes through the heart of this town. This is a country setting. Okeechobee, Florida is right off a, a big fresh water lake, uh, but the surrounding area is basically uh, countryside agriculture land farmland and this major strip uh, route 441 uh, has most of the major stores uh, a public supermarket uh, a Walmart uh, dollar store McDonald's car dealerships etc this is not an area where you will find a Whole Foods or a Starbucks there is a small Dunkin Donuts uh, but again you have a country setting uh, with, uh, I don't know if I want to say a depressed economy, but it's not a vibrant economy. And so it's just got a very old country style feel, uh, very old school and basic. We will go through some of these parking lots off this main downtown strip area. It's nothing fancy. And this is a basic town laid back uh, about an hour and a half south of Orlando, and it's about an hour uh, away from the Atlantic Ocean. Now, in Okeechobee, Florida, you can find cheap housing. Uh, but it is true, even in the past few years, housing has gone up even here. But right off uh, Route 441 here uh, is one of the areas that you would probably go if you lived in Okeechobee. This has um, some basic stores that you would need. I mean, of course, it has a fast food place right here, KFC. But you will recognize the store that's going to be in front of us, the Dollar Tree. Uh, so they have the Dollar Tree, and then we're going to head over and we're going to pass the Publix. Publix is the major supermarket in Florida. So you see, this is not a luxury area, not a high crime area per se, definitely not where we're at, but it's just, it's country. It's There's nothing special. This is a laid back town. Uh, I would say it would lean more towards a depressed economy than a, a vibrant economy. Uh, not many major jobs here. Uh, this is all like farmland and agriculture, etc. This is the Publix uh, to the right. Uh, so you see, it's, uh, you know, it's got a palm tree. Uh, it's not bad. It's not, uh, you know, you're not, you don't feel unsafe, but you don't feel like, you know, you're not in South Florida, vibrant, uh, living a vida loca. This is country laid back. Uh, folks that are definitely not tourists here. This is not a tourist area. Even though Okeechobee Lake itself uh, will bring some tourists in for fishing, okay, uh, but you're not going to get a uh, you know the beach crowd here because again you're an hour away from the beach, and so this is just a parking lot. Across the street is a Chevrolet uh, dealership. There's a couple other car dealerships here. There's an RV dealership. There's a Tires Plus. Get your car serviced right next door to here. And um, yeah, I just want to drive through this little mini mark. But see, that's the thing. Like, if you live in Okeechobee, Florida, you see, like, it's got one of these. Uh, see that boat there to the right? It's like one of those uh, fan boats driving, like, through the Everglades. And see, if you live in Okeechobee, Florida, you know, what's your daily routine going to be like? Well, you know, there's not much to do, okay? So you're pretty much probably going to tend to your property, uh, you're going to cook breakfast. You know, you're probably not going out to breakfast. I mean, like when you live in Okeechobee, Florida, again, there's no Starbucks to go to. There's uh, some cafes and some diners like everywhere else. But I would say this type of lifestyle, you, you cook your, your breakfast at home. Uh, you make most of your meals at home. Okay. Uh, this is not a, a high dining area or something like that. There is a Mexican restaurant. There is a heavy Mexican uh, presence here, population in Florida, South Florida in general. Uh, but also in the agricultural parts, uh, you have a Mexican population. So you do have a level of diversity, even in the uh, countryside of Florida, uh, which is good, positive. Uh, Buddy's Electronics, a Harbor Freight uh, to the left. And um, I will say this, uh, overall, the people that I've met, I have felt a level of Southern hospitality. Like in Florida, you really don't get Southern hospitality because Florida is more or less a melting pot. 
uh, and uh, it actually could be opposite of Florida, uh, opposite of Southern hospitality. But, but just because people have Southern hospitality, it can still be nasty. There's good and bad people everywhere. But it does. People have been overall nice in my dealings. There's a tractor su supply store, okay, to the left, and of course that's a big store here, because again, a lot of these people they have tractor trailers, they have farmland, and they're in. You can see a lot of pickup trucks. Um, this is the country. This is not the beach. And um, we'll exit this parking lot. It's a, it's a overcast day with some rain showers. We're in August here as I make this video. So you're going to get that in the wet season. Uh, Hurricane-wise, you know, you're, you're off the coast. We do have that lake that has an, a man-made dam around it, which did flood in the 1930s. But I believe the Army Corps of Engineers kind of reinforced it. Uh, across the street uh, is a Winn Dixie, a Bell's outlet store. Um, so nothing fancy again, but all the stores that you would need to get food, some basic clothing, okay, get your car repaired, uh, etc. So, but you know, do you feel inspired living in Okeechobee? Uh, it all depends. I mean, again, you can drive 40 minutes away and you can be in Port St. Lucie. Uh, you can be, uh, you're about an hour away from uh, Palm Beach uh, in the airport. So you're not, uh, far out in the middle of nowhere, even though it kind of does have that feel, but this is a rural countryside environment. Uh, every environment has a different personality. Obviously by the beach, there's a personality by the countryside personality, by the mountains personality. And then the town itself has a personality. So what does the town other than being a country town, what does it have a feel of? Well, it, it has a feel of a southern town, a southern country, um, also a little bit, a little bit dead. Uh, it does have a dead feel. Uh, infrastructure feels a little bit old. The stores feel old. It doesn't feel like there is a, a, a renovation coming. It doesn't feel like there's a rehab coming, like there's new life coming. It feels like this is a dying town. Um, but uh, I don't know, you know, maybe in years it will develop, you know, because it has a lot of things going for it. Again, it's only an hour away from the beach, hour away from Palm Beach um, Airport, uh, hour and a half, two hours max from Orlando. So I don't know, but it does feel a little bit like a dead zone. And, um, you know, well, I guess, you know, it's economic opportunity, right? Like you don't have an industry here. You know, you got these basic stores on this basic street, but you don't have any major jobs and jobs attract uh, talent and talent rebuilds. I mean, per se, but not to say that there's not talented people here, but people here are farming or fishing and that's it. You know, so that life farming or fishing there's not much to it. Uh, you know, you, you know, there's not a lot of extra money if you're not a farmer or a fisherman. You know, they have some hotels. There's a Holiday Express to my left. There's a Pizza Hut. There is a Home Depot. So, you know, no matter where you live, you need a Home Depot. You re renovate your house, do work on your house. Um, so, there is a hospital up the road. Let me take a look at that. There's a Valvoline Oil Express change. So I don't know, you know, I looked at some property in this area because it's cheap and it's not too far away from the beach and you could be financially free or retired. It's definitely a retiree place too, uh, but you're not going to do much. You're going to just cook at home. You're going to maybe fish at the lake, uh, maybe uh, occasionally drive into town or as far as like not this town, but maybe drive into Port St. Lucie or Palm Beach area. And, um, and you're going to go there. Uh, what are you going to do here? You're not going to do much here. It's it's dead. I even see there, they got a, I don't know, that's wild. They have a, a tent set up in the abandoned gas station across the street. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's a homeless person or what. It's weird that they allow that. So, yeah, would I buy property in Okeechobee? Well, I think about it. Uh, but I don't know if I want to, you know, you know, I, you'd have to commute every day to a nicer area. Uh, driving around here or going around here your daily day, would this make me inspired? I, I don't know. No, no, 
That's the answer. No, it wouldn't, but it has everything you need to live. Okay, the Walmart is to the right here. Let's go to this Walmart. Gas right now is $2.93 a gallon regular at this Walmart in Okeechobee, Florida. And, I mean, you know, what, what do you do by the beach? You do the same thing. You wake up. The only thing it doesn't have that I would want, I guess, would be a Starbucks. Uh, I would like a, a Fresh Market or a, a Whole Foods or Sprouts. Those are a little bit higher-end supermarkets. Uh, but for someone living cheap or retiree, uh, living in the Okeechobee area, you'd have all the amenities you need. Uh, you could take your day trips to the beach. You'd be fine. Um, I don't. Most areas do not seem unsafe. I'm sure they have their pockets that are unsafe. Okay, but um, you're just living a you know I would say a nice country life uh, while still being somewhat close to the beach. And like everywhere, I'm sure there's good and bad people. There's not a lot of industry again for work, so you know you'd have to be a retiree or on some type of a fixed income, and um, or commute. You know you could commute to West Palm area or commute to Port St. Lucie or within an hour. If you're within an hour, it's not too bad. Um, and again, you do have some diversity. I'm seeing people from a little bit of all walks of life, uh, which is a positive. And um, I don't know, but uh, that's what you see in every town, right? It's a supermarket, a Walmart, place to repair your car, place to get a car, place to fill up gas in your car. I mean, everything other than that is just extra shops, amenities, etc. This is a basic life. If you live in Okeechobee, the bottom line summary is you're going to live a basic life. I would say an overall, uh, you know, peaceful area. Um, and you know, if you wanted some more activities to do, you'd have to travel about an hour away. Uh, that is the overall summary on the area. Uh, hopefully, uh, that just gives you some perspective. I know it's a little uh, gloomy and cloudy maybe in the video, uh, but I just want to give you some perspective on the town and on the uh, downtown area. Uh, you know, it's got basic things on what you need for a basic life. Hopefully, this video helped you. I thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Click that blue join button. Check out my playlist to see my thousands of free videos about Florida and other things. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.